other side too. All right, right here we got the crooked neck squash, and these are the ones that were doing fabulous in the uh, house when I was seeing them. I mean, starting them and everything. But when we got out here, they took a dramatic turn for the worst. That's why it's actually two, because at first I just planted the one that I mean that one was looking so much better than everything. That's why I planted it, and then it just went down. So I planted this one over here. And this one started looking bad too, but now both of them are starting to look a little better. Maybe we'll get some before too long off of this. This right here is the colored bell pepper. So you go to the store, check this out. So you go to the store and I've seen I've seen this myself. You get an orange, a red, and a yellow bell pepper. And it costs you six bucks. For this plant, for the seeds for this plant. The bucket, the dirt, and the fertilizer. I know I probably only gonna. I only spent. Maybe a, it's all this whole setup probably cost me about a dollar and a half, if that much. So one pepper and it'll pay for itself. So as many as I'm gonna get, it's definitely gonna pay for itself. You can see the little knobby looking at us right there. Yeah, let's look up on top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff. All right. Now, check this out. Pow! That's my eggplant. The one I, well, I didn't tell you guys that, but I recorded it. And when I recorded it, it was like, this was the smallest out of all of the plants. It was like it wasn't growing. I was trying to decide whether I should even grow it or not. But now it's coming up. It's got this beautiful purple stems. I love it now. You know me. Look at this. That's just beautiful in itself. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. How could you not? Look at that. Look at this. How could you not like that? Yeah, and it's coming up wonderful. Look at that in there. The roots, well, you can't see the roots, but the stem are a direct <laughs> cause of the roots. So if the roots are good, you're going to have a good stem, too. And look at that stem looking wonderful. And then you got this uh, partner plant, another, another basil. Look at them big leaves. It might be time to harvest this or harvest some of these leaves. These looking great. These are the ones you want to put on the... Um, you know what? I can hit. I'm gonna try to hit these with some. If you see these little, you see, um, it's like yellowing some. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna hit these with another round of fish fertilizer. And if these green back up, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this. Um, I'm gonna harvest these leaves and dry them out, or I try to sell them to somebody or something because they like the perfect type. But they look wonderful. They don't have any bugs on the bites. Watch, I wake up tomorrow and have all kind of holes in them. But they're doing fine. All right, let's get over here, son. See what we got going on. And this is our sweet pepper plant. Look at these. It's got plenty of plants that went through. I mean, uh, flowers that came up. And then, L. And if you didn't know, because I didn't know. And I'm still not 100% positive, but I've been doing a lot of checking. And what happens is the plant, the flower comes up like this and it actually can pollinate itself. And then it fall, the, the, the leaves fall off, right? And then you have, look behind this one. If you can see it. You see how that just has like the little stem part out? And then that part turns into the, um, the pepper, the fruit. I didn't know that. So I'm just realizing that now. And I'm thinking on the grape, the, the eggplant, I'm thinking this right here is a fruit, but I'm not sure. Because see how that's coming out? Those are leaves. That's coming off, those are leaves. Everything that's, that's leaf, leaf, right here, leaf. But that's looking a little different. I'm thinking that's gonna be an eggplant, but I'll get back to you and let you know about that. Now, We got our okra. The okra is doing real well. Big. No need for a stake. Look at those stems. I didn't even stake them. They just doing great. I'm waiting for a little flower and some buds, some food. 
Okay. Then over here, this is the cherry tomato. The one in the corner over here, that's the cherry tomato. I planted this one about two to three weeks before I planted this one. That's why it's a little bit, bit behind. But um, so, but the main reason I planted this one is because I had an extra one. One, I didn't want to just throw it away. But this pot actually holds five gallons of dirt. It holds the same amount of dirt as those buckets, but it's water. So I'm going to see if I can get any kind of better results or worse results out of that because it's not as tall and it's shorter in water. So that's like a little experiment I'm doing. That's just like this one right here. I had uh, peppers left over, and that's a jalapeno pepper and a sweet pepper. I think it might be a cayenne pepper. I ain't sure. But I, uh, I put them together to maybe see if they're cross-pollinate. That's like cross pollinate. That's like a little experiment I'm doing, you know. So, um, yeah, but okay. So, here now, this is our peppers. I mean, peppers, sorry, potatoes. So, I'll tell you what I did. I started down here. I bought the dirt up there, like right here. I put the tomato uh, pot potato in it. It's already had a little, uh, the eyes coming up. I filled it, filled it over with dirt. Then when it started growing, I filled all of those over with dirt and I put cardboard around it. I just been watering it. And it seems like it's doing okay. So we'll see what goes on with that. Now, while we're here, the stuff is biting me so bad. Mm, I'm getting torn up. In my little herb section. Okay. These are all marigolds. You know, help keep the uh, insects away from the plants. Right here, this this line right here was camel meal. It was this one, this one, and this one, and this one that were coming up. But it got a warm day, and I think that these two dried out, and they're not gonna be coming back. But I did more than one or two seeds in them, so maybe they might. So it's gonna keep them out here. You see how this one is coming back? It's coming in small all the chives are in good they coming up no problem shoot i got all of the lavender coming up that's a good thing and the lemon balm only got this which is a lot of lemon balm and i got this one's like one plant but it's seasoning all of these pods the oregano is sprouting all through except for this one the rosemary only have one <laughs> but we're gonna make it do what it do with that one plant we're gonna nurture it and get it big and make it do everything and then we got this sage, got two sage here, two sage here, but we don't have any right there. So we're going to rock with those and make it do something. Now, the spearmint, ain't nothing happening. I'm like, damn, did I forget to um, put some seeds in here or something? Maybe I did. I'm not sure. But we're going to have to try the spearmint again. We're going to have to figure out something. And then you got the thyme right beside it. That's rocking all good. And then over here. We got basil. Look at this. All the basil is rocking. Cilantro. All the cilantro is up. Dill. All the dill is up. And then we got the parsley. The parsley just came. The parsley was the last thing to come up out of everything. But um, I'm pretty happy with this right here. It's about the time to start uh, trying to find more pots and stuff because I'm going to need them. You know? So... If anybody knows a website or something that's like got real cheap pots or something again, you know, let me know. Don't hold out on me. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, let's go take a look at some other stuff. We gotta walk around my little garden though. What well, I I'ma have to put more dirt right here because it's got a little pool of water right there. And I saw some um some little uh organisms floating around in there the other day, so I'm gonna have to get rid of them that day what i did was i took some i have some all natural all purpose uh cleaner and it's all natural so i just poured some of in that some of that in that little puddle and it worked but it's supposed to be all natural it's not going to hurt anything and then i had to put some dirt right here because when it rains we get a puddle right here so i'm going to lift that up some but either way we're going to take a walk out